Hello, this is Rich. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the new camera class that is coming with the blank starter kit in the next release. I just wanted to give you guys a little update here and show you the following feature implemented into the uh, smooth camera class. Now, the smooth camera class is implemented into the blank template to give you know developers an easier time with cameras um, obviously the blank kit won't include genre specific uh, classes because it's a blank template but I figured that a camera class is highly needed and it also needed to be highly customizable and feature rich so things that the camera supports is regular movement all movement is interpolated so when you tell it to uh, go to a position or set the camera's position interpolation is performed so it's always smooth um, this is a customizable parameter. You can tell the parameter how smooth to move and also how smooth to rotate. Those are individual parameters you can set. Um, it also has look at support. So you can tell it either to look at an entity. So it, wherever entity goes, the target, the camera will always look at it. Or you can tell it to look at a position. So it looks at a very specific position. Now, you could also have fall you could also tell your camera to follow things uh, an entity so you tell it basically specify all the parameters you want to have your camera follow an entity now while following you can in addition override the look at target so while you're following you could also tell it to uh, look at the target that you're following it's pretty cool so it would override the camera's regular look at target also you can specify camera constraints um, regularly uh, so the camera can have many constraints. For instance, you can say, you know what? No matter what happens, the camera can't move in the X axes. The camera can't move in the Y axes. The camera can't move in the Z axes. All individually. You could also say stuff like, well, the camera is allowed to move, uh, rotate to the right 100 degrees, but it isn't allowed to rotate to the left at all on the X axes or the Y axes or the Z axes. So per axis, control over constraints. You could also specify whether the camera is allowed to move at all on the, uh, I'm sorry, rotate at all on the X, Y, and Z. And so it's highly customizable. But when you tell it to follow something, you can override the look at property to tell it to look at the target that you're following. And you could also have the uh, camera constraints override the normal camera constraints. So here we're gonna show you the following the focus on the following a feature today so here we go we have our camera which is uh, the C smooth camera class which is located in this file here everything is fully commented okay The implementation so here we go we're gonna start up in this test scene I have a player okay um, and the player has um, a camera in the scene and the camera is told to follow the player so you can move around the player with WASD you could also jump with the spacebar so let's go ahead and enable helpers, physics helpers, because the player is using living physics and I want to be able to see the player. So P underscore, draw, tab, finish it, draw helpers, beautiful. Now let's go ahead and start our test level, map test. Uh, this is the blank starter kit, by the way. This is nothing, this is the, you know, using the new version. It's not released yet, but like I said, I'm finishing it up. So as you can see, the player is a collider there, a physics collider. Uh, we're in a little test level here, and I'm going to move around the character with WASD, and you're going to notice that the camera stays within a certain distance while following and looking at the player. So let's go ahead and move around. Notice how the camera is uh, silky smooth. There we go. We're going to level out here. Beautiful. All right. Let's stop. Let's bring the camera back. You can notice that the camera is constantly staying within a certain distance, nice, silky smooth. It's maintaining to look at what we told it to and following all the way. Let's hold shift to run. Uh, 
Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful follow support with look at. Now let's go ahead and um, exit the level. I've created a console command for the um, blank starter kit, quit. It does exist in the normal um, build, so I figured, you know what, quit might be a good thing to implement because it is in the actual build. Um, so I've implemented that. Um, so let's go over some, some, some parameters. So you tell your camera to follow. Very simple. And then it takes a S camera follow param struct, telling it all the parameters you want to follow. So let's look at some of these parameters. The first parameter is the max distance. And uh, what I'll do here is I'm going to go to the actual class. And we can look at these values here. So the S camera follow params, a structure used to hold camera following parameters. We have a nice constructor, constructor <laughs> um, with per argument comments here. Let's go over each of the parameters that you can use for following. So we have the max distance. And this is the maximum distance that the camera is allowed to be from the target. Um, and when the camera gets too far away, farther than this distance, then the camera will automatically try to get um, within that, that distance. Okay. Then we have the minimum distance, meaning if the camera gets too close, if it gets closer than this min distance, it'll try to back up to make sure it's a little bit farther away. Okay. So the camera basically is going to try to make sure it's within the, the min and max distance that you specify. Okay, we have the movement speed, which will override the camera's default movement speed, because you can set the camera's movement speed and rotation speed, but while you're following, I want to add override parameters, so you can specify, while you're following, the movement speed. Okay, the slower the speed is, the more smooth, okay, and laggy it will be. Not laggy in a bad way, but, you know, laggy in a good way. It'll be very smooth, okay? The higher it is, the faster it's going to main, uh, stick to that target rotation and uh, movement you want. We have the rotation speed, same thing. Uh, we can specify whether we're going to look at it. Basically, you have a look at target that you can specify on the camera already, but if you set this value to true, you're uh, overriding the default look at target and you're going to be looking at what you're following at all times. Beautiful. Um, B, uh, min max is dead zone. Uh, so this min max value up here that specifies um, if you're too close or if you're uh, too far away, um, if we specify this is true, it is, it should be treated as a dead zone, then what that means is that the, the camera will not try to follow the target until the camera is too far away or it's too close. So while you're moving the camera, if you're um, the, the, the target, while the target's moving, if your camera is within that min and max, the camera won't move at all because it's within that. But as soon as the target gets too far away, then your camera will move closer. Okay, that's how that works. You have dead zone support. Um, dead zone was not enabled in that demo I just showed you, but we're going to do that in a few seconds. And then you have the camera constraints. So you can optionally override the camera's default constraints to have following param constraints. Then you also have the target, the entity you want to follow. Um, and this is just a cached value here target last position using some constraint parameters basically it allows me to detect which way I'm rotating am I rotating right left up or down uh, using some constraints okay all right so let's go ahead to the follow again and here are the parameters so this is the max distance so the camera is going to be basically saying if I'm more than 10 meters away from my target go ahead and move closer Okay, next parameter is five meters. If I'm closer than, to, than five meters to, my, uh, to the target, then go ahead and back up within, the, you know, back up until you're more than that distance away. Okay, five is the uh, movement speed. So how, how smooth it's gonna be, how fast, okay. Uh, another five here is the rotation speed. Uh, true specifies that we do wanna look at the target that we're following. False means that we do not want to treat this min max value as a dead zone so it's it's, it's always going to want to uh, follow the player always at all times to make sure that it's within that min max zone it's always going to make sure it's within that min max now if this was true like what we're going to do right now it's only going to move when it detects that it's too far away or too close okay s camera constraint params i can go ahead and i can specify all the parameters that i want uh, but i don't need to i don't want any constraints while i'm following 
and I can tell it the target, the target that we're following. We're going to follow the player. We're in the player class, so I call it the get entity uh, function here. So now that we're going to be uh, dead zoning here, the min max is treated as a dead zone. Let's go ahead into the level again. Beautiful. So, wait for the uh, cry engine to start. Oh. All right, we're going to enable helper so we can view our player. P for physics. Okay. P underscore draw. And then we can go ahead and hit tab to finish and set that to one. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and load our test level. Map test. Okay, we're all loaded. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to move around. And we're going to go way far out. Okay, we're more than 10 meters away. Whoops, which is why we're following. But let's head backwards. You notice that we're not moving at all. We are looking, but we're not moving because we're still not within five meters. Oh, now we're within five meters. So we're going to go ahead and make sure we stay five meters away at least, five meters away. Okay, now the camera's going. We're not going to move. Oh, now we're 10 meters, so let's go ahead. So let's go ahead and back up. We're not going to move because it's a dead zone. But once we get within five meters, it says, hey, back up. So that's dead zone support. Absolutely. So you got the min and max value um, that you'll try to stay within. Um, but if you have that dead zone enabled, it's going to only move when you get too close or too far away. Beautiful. And now we're going to start moving. Let's come back in. Not moving, not moving. Now we're going to start moving. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, before these, this, this new version of the template is released, um, there will be support for specifying um, height um, for the following parameters. Meaning, if you notice, if I go forward, it's always going to stay within that distance, that direction. Okay, so I'm the camera, and that's the target I'm following. I have to stay within that line, that 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 direction between me and the target. And as the target gets farther and farther away, that line is getting more and more horizontal. Okay, it'll stay there. But in a lot of games, let's say, uh, what, top-down uh, dungeon crawlers, you want to basically stay at a top position. So you'll be able to specify a height parameter for the following. Negative values means, my, you know, let's just say 10, negative 10. That means that the camera will always try to stay um, below the target by 10 meters. Or if you say positive 10, it'll always try to stay 10 meters above. So you can actually have control. Um, of how high and how low that the camera is that will be in the release but in this particular video it's not here let's run Ooh. beautiful let's go hit that let's go into the water oh and we're gonna fall for infinity okay guys thank you very much i hope you enjoyed i wanted to throw you guys a little bit of a bone just to tell you um, some cool things that are coming in the new release. Um, all bug fixes that have been reported have been fixed. They've all been fixed. Thank you guys very much for reporting all of these issues with me. Um, so uh, stay tuned. I don't know exactly when this is going to be released, but I have to comment everything, uh, make sure that there's uh, not a lot of bugs, at least ones I don't know about. So thank you guys very much, and I hope you enjoyed. Um, leave a comment. Let me know if you like or what you want added, um, and I'll do so. I mean... If you guys think things should be long inside of the uh, blank template that you guys think should be there, let me know and I'll implement it, um, you know, within reason. I mean, if it's game specific or genre specific, then I won't. Uh, it is a blank template, so I only want non-genre specific things in there. So thank you guys. Bye.